Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. When last we left the Avatar, we're slowly building a wall to encompass all of our farming area and the keep. Once it's built, and we've put torches absolutely everywhere, no monsters will spawn close to our home, at least in a place where they can harm us. Now, some people may wonder why I'm not just putting a fence down, and that's because skeletons can shoot over a fence. Also, walls look neat, especially when they're made of stone. They look impenetrable. That said, they could easily be mined away, but there's nobody here to mine them away. They could also get blown up by a creeper, but hopefully that's never going to happen. Now, let us retrieve our boat and go all the way back to that area where I dug down and decided to mine a lot, because we're going back to that area. We are armed with many iron pickaxes and not enough torches. Let's turn round, because we do not have enough torches to go and do that for very long. I think I'm going to keep the boat here now, by the barrel. It's not a bad place for it. And the boat has decided to sail away! It won't be able to sail away very far. Back in we go, back down we go, and we want to go to the storage room. Do I have any torches? Nope, no torches lying around, so we go to the wood here, we get four of these, that, that, and some coal. I think about 16 should be sufficient. Oh, it's probably sufficient. In fact, I'm going to uh, make five more, just in case, so that we can have a little bit more than we need. Marvelous. Now, let us go and head towards that area where I mined before, pretending that I actually brought enough torches with me to begin with. Sound good? Sound good. Let's go. There's some clay. Not gonna be mining that anytime soon. And there are some fish. We're not gonna be mining those soon either, because that's not what you do with fish. There is our hole. Really should put a torch there to signify that that is where the uh, mining area is. It would stand out from uh, our home. We would be able to see it, most likely. There we go. And down we go. And instead of going this way, like I did, we're going to go this way instead. And just mine down a lot. Hopefully this will bring us to new and exciting areas. And when I say new and exciting areas, I hope that doesn't actually mean that we uh, appear in a uh, cave system. And we appear to have found a massive area full of uh, andesite. Okay, let us not go uh, that way, and instead we will go this way. And once we get to this point, we'll go down here. There we go. Stone. Much better. And then we find more andesite. And then the avatar is sad. It's getting dark. Need to put a torch. Otherwise, we will get into some bother. Eventually. We don't want enemies to spawn behind us in a narrow uh, mine shaft, do we? That's just a recipe for catastrophe. And explosions! Okay. There is a uh, different kind of stone, and there's more different stone there. We haven't found any iron yet. Our iron sense is failing us right now. Give it time, though. We'll find some. There's some andesite. Don't want to find that. I'm going to uh, mine out this area here. Just so that we get a uh, fair amount of stone, and also so that we can see if we can find any coal or iron. We do want to replenish our coal after making all those torches, after all. We also want a lot of stone. And this is the way to do it. You just find a small area and hollow it out. It's been a while since we've actually done some mining. Admittedly, this is quarrying, but uh, no, actually it is mining, because we are underground. Quarrying, I believe, is uh, when you are above ground and you are digging a hole. 
a big open uh, pit, a quarry pit as it were. And there are absolutely no veins of coal or iron here at all. Ah well, we can't always find treasure wherever we go. Sometimes the treasure is what you originally set out to uncover. In this case, stone. And lots of it. How much do we have right now? We have two stacks of it. And one... Nope, make that seven. Make that twelve bits of cobblestone. Not bad. We shall, uh, dig this way. After, of course, we dig down one more because I've started and I might as well finish. There we go. And no coal. Maybe we did use all of our, uh, iron sense before. But hey, no bad thing. I'll settle for some diamond game. Oh, saying that never works, does it? No, it never does. Okay, down a little more. Aha! There's some iron. The game decided to throw me a bone, and I'm not going to complain about that. This will make up for the uh, iron pickaxe that I made, so that I had one extra. It's not going to make up for all the iron pickaxes I'm about to... Uh, ooh, that is andesite. We don't want to uh, go that way, so instead, we shall mine this way. Why this way? Why not this way, eh? We'll just go this way, and a little further down, plant another torch right here, and carry on! We do have uh, quite a lot of stone now, but we need a lot more. Also, more andesite. So we're gonna go this way, and see if we can avoid the andesite. There's some more iron! Ha <laughs> ha! Marvelous! Do want some more coal, though. We'll find some coal, I'm sure. Ooh, gold! Okay, this is good. A lot of gold as well. A lot of gold indeed. Brilliant. That's some experience right there waiting to be melted into bars. Now let's go this way and wait for the inevitable sound of this pickaxe. Yep, of this pickaxe breaking. We have broken one, but there are many more still to snap in our never-ending journey for stone. We're going to go this way. Because there's stone here, and not andesite. Eventually we are going to reach the uh, bedrock. Again, we are just digging pretty much down. Diagonally down, but still down. And we are going to... Ooh, this is more andesite, isn't it? But if I go this way, it's not andesite. Aha! We'll go this way instead. And I feel like digging across a bit. And then we find a massive pool of lava. This can happen when you're going about and uh, just digging underground. You will find uh, little areas full of lava. Speaking of lava, I can hear it. That's a little worrying. Let's actually dig this area out and see if we can find the lava. Normally I don't want to find lava, but where there's lava there tends to... Well, there's redstone. Where there's lava there tends to be uh, things like diamond and gold and redstone. I'm very concerned that the lava is above us, but then I would see the uh, drops of lava from the ceiling. It's right in front of us, actually. Well, say hello to a... Uh, Pool of lava, everyone! I'm going to dig over to here and see if I can see if there is a another area that I can get to. Hmm, not easily is the answer. This might very well just be a, uh... Yeah, this might very well just be a, uh... Self-enclosed lava pool. But I'm gonna keep looking. I'm curious now. I'm very curious. Well, if we need some lava for anything, we know where we can find some now. We know where we can find a lot of it. Not finding any awesome resources here. Though there is a, uh, area over there. Maybe I can find a... underground cave system. And with us immediately being this deep, who knows what treasures we will uncover. 
Probably some good ones. And this is when all we find is coal. Oh, there is somewhere here. Okay, don't walk too far forward, Avatar. There's the minor problem of tons of lava. And I don't like lava. Not most of the time. It, it's very good at burning us. And killing us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm holding a shift here so that I do not uh, accidentally walk into the lava. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to make, using the uh, andesite, a small wall here to protect us. I may use a bit of cobblestone as well. I know, using the cobblestone that uh, I'm actually trying to harvest to protect ourselves, it's worth it, trust me. Oh, it is worth it. Especially if we find something cool. That's pretty safe. That is not safe, because that is a, uh, just a hole there. That's just lava there, we want to deal with that as well. There could also be enemies that just appear behind me, because we are underground. We are very deep underground. But we are pretty safe now. And I have found some coal at last. And more lava. Ooh, and an illuminated area over there. And some lapis lazuli. Okay, looks like our... Uh, Initial expedition to go get stone has been minorly diverted, because we found goodies. I'm not going to say no to goodies, I am going to say no to that, however. No to being, uh, dropped into a pool of lava. Never ends well. Also, never dig directly above you, Kiko. Even when there is coal. Such a recipe for disaster. Just add an indeterminate amount of digging above you and lava. Congratulations, you have made a pickle, but you are now in. You may now flail helplessly as your hit points drain rapidly. And thus the Avatar did. And thus the hit points were gone. That area leads up. Very concerned that something is going to uh, spawn from there. Ooh, look at all the goodies here. Lots of goodies. We're going to get all of them. If we can. I can hear water. That's encouraging. I can also see that light. And we're going to mine from here because we know that here is safe. That's a zombie. Gotta put my shield out. We are, after all, in dangerous territory. And the zombie is not above me. I was anticipating that it would be, but no. Where is that zombie? Zombie! Where are you? Zombie? No. Ooh, the zombies are there. Would you like to walk into the lava? No. You would? Marvelous! And you would too. This is convenient. Well, I don't need to worry about enemies here for a little while because they have to uh, go through the lava to come and get me. There you go. Zombies take a lot of damage from lava. Oh, they take a lot of damage. What I ideally want to find is some, uh, diamond. We do have a lot of inventory space. We could definitely afford to, uh, get some... Well, thank you very much, game! I didn't think you'd listen to me so exactly and act immediately, but I'm not going to say no to a huge pile of diamond here. Oh, I'm not going to say no. Marvelous. Let us mine over here and make sure that there's no lava that this can fall into or anything like that. Let's get some more. Is this a pile of five? Nope, it's more than five. It's actually six. Six pieces of diamond. Whoa. Just think, if I hadn't have uh, decided to mine in this direction when I was going down to uh, get more cobblestone, I wouldn't have uncovered any of this. And we would not have six diamond. Perfect. 
Well, actually, if it was perfect, there would be an infinite supply of diamond there, but having a limitless supply would make finding diamond, uh, not as awesome. I think it's a good thing that diamond is still a finite resource. Uh, there have to be some things that are finite that force you to explore. That said, eventually you uh, don't really have much of a need to get more diamond, but the fact that it's just not there in a trade that a villager can offer just adds that extra bit of, well, you want more diamond, you know what to do, Avatar. You must go and explore new places that you have not been to and find the diamond there. Why do you need diamond anyway? Oh, I want to build my house out of it. You know, you could just build it out of stone. And then the Avatar shrugged idly. All that diamond. Wow. Now let's work through here. I am tempted to get rid of this water. I'm gonna get rid of this water, it makes getting through here quite tricky. And there's some more lava that leads to some redstone that I am not going to go and get because that is, uh, some dangerous redstone. Instead I'm going to put a torch there and check out an underground ravine area with a lot of lava. Okay, dealing with that later. I thought for a moment there I saw a uh, zombie. Also, for some reason, if we look at a particular angle, the uh, game does not generate the uh, wall there, and we just see the infinite void of stars on oblivion. I'm a little wary of exploring there because of that. I don't want to go into the infinite void of stars on oblivion. That's full of infinite voidiness. There is nothing down here. Okay, at least no enemies will spawn there. Let us go back and look in the other direction. Over here. Do need to be careful, because lava, and zombies, and spiders. I can hear that spider. How about thee? Oh, you burned. At least I got the experience, though, because I managed to deal a hit within a uh, certain time period. We shall put a torch here, and here, and now we shall get this iron. What started out as an expedition to go and get some uh, stone has become quite a quest indeed. I actually want to go up here and uh, eliminate here is a place where enemies can come from. Because enemies will come from here. Like you. Have at thee. Ooh! You have magic stuff. I want it. One, two, one. You drop the magic stuff! What is it? It is protection too. That's not bad! Not gonna say no to free magic stuff, that's for sure. Let us, uh, use this here and mine here. Being mindful, get it? Mine, mindful, never mind. Being mindful of the fact that there is an area above us where enemies could spawn. Hang on. Not anymore. Well, not as easily, anyway. Enemies do find all kinds of places to just appear and go, Hello! I'm an enemy! I'm going to kill you now! And I'm like, please don't kill me! And the enemy ignores me because they're too busy killing me. And even though we are uh, using the uh, durability of this pickaxe to get some coal, we are mining little bits of stone along the way. So, we are sort of doing what I initially set out to do, but hey, we have diamond. Not gonna complain about this. Not gonna complain about all the little cool things that I'm finding along the way. Things that other people uh, exploring this seed might not uncover. Ah, I see there is gravel above me. I see there is also a pool of lava down here. So we're actually not gonna be going this way. We're probably going to have to explore around that uh, big pool of lava. And I'm quite wary of that. But first things first, let us get this gold. All the glistens is not gold, but this, this is gold. This is pretty much gold. I actually want to uh, collapse all of this uh, gravel so that I don't fall for the trap later. So let's get this iron. 
Well, I collapsed that gravel. I didn't even notice there was gravel right there. So let's do this from a safe distance. Like so. Excellent. And we'll do this from a safe distance. And we can't go that way anyway, so I think uh, that did a pretty good job of sealing that area off forever. Yes, it did. There we go, a little more iron. And when we come back, folks, we have a place to explore. It's a dangerous looking place, but when has the Avatar ever shied away from danger? The answer is a lot of the time, because danger is very dangerous. We could ignore that area for the moment and instead go and uh, head in a different direction. Because that way leads to the uh, area of oblivion. Also, I want to uh, make going past this lava a little bit safer. In fact, let's make going past this lava a lot safer by uh, boxing it in. Like so. Now it is much safer. A little more boring? Yes. But lava is not something to be toyed with. And so, folks, when we come back, we'll check out those avenues of exploration before we decide to go and head to the uh, Void Lava Pit of Doom. I'm not looking forward to the Void Lava Pit of Doom. Oh, that I am not. But hey, I don't think we've even really been hit down here yet, so we're not doing too badly in that regard. And so I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later, and unfortunately we can do nothing about the bats flying into the lava. They really shouldn't do that, should they? No, no, they should not.